and it is of course Hooper's 50. He's out, he's gone, that looked absolutely plumb. It would have hit the middle, I think. Desmond Haynes has gone for 82, and that is the wicket that Pakistan has craved for. Yeah, well, just watch it, didn't bounce at all there. And I'm not sure whether that was that. It might have hit him outside the off stump. 223 for four. And he's gone, he's bowled. Logie is out, his last innings for the West Indies has ended. He's made just the single, and that rally has thrown it wide open. Yes, well, just when I said he was using his experience, he didn't realize that the wicket is of a very low bounce, and he should not have been looking to cut it. He should have been looking to play it off a straight bat. 17 runs now from 11 balls. So the equation is widening. It's becoming just a little bit harder from the West Indies. And it's Wackar again to Hooper. What a good ball, a Yorker. And that was indeed the long hop throw in by Atta Rahman, but Hooper had it covered. It's 15 needed from 10 balls. Wackar Yunus in the the evening darkness to Hooper. Another dot ball, a precious commodity for Pakistan. 15 runs needed from nine balls. Really, could it be more exciting? A whole series of five matches is down to this. Oh, and that was really... A woeful piece of misfielding by, I think, in the Ramis Raja down there. They should never have been allowed to get two there. 13 now needed from eight balls. The noise is getting louder. The light is getting darker. And Wakar is getting faster. Well, even Jarvin can't pick that up. But the light also makes it hard for the fielders, one must remember. 12 now needed from seven balls. Yes, Wakar must not make the mistake of bowling a length ball to Bishop. Well, that was very quick thinking by Wakar. Desperately bad luck on Bishop. That the stumps cost him four runs. But that is the way it goes. That might be the last bit of decisive luck for Pakistan. Not a single man or lady is leaving early tonight. Wazim to Hooper. And insistent appeals by Basid Ali, but umpire Duncan says not out. It was a direct hit by Asif Mushtaba. Two runs were scored, ten are now needed from five balls. It's the ground, Henry, what I was just about to say. It's very easy to hit a six, so Hooper, if he connects a six, the game then changes again. Another attempted Yorker by Wazim Akram. They won't get two this time. But my goodness me, Hooper only just got back. Nine to win from four balls, and Bishop the new batsman in strike, which is significant. Four balls left, nine runs to win, Wazim to Bishop. Eight to win from three balls. Well, this is the perfect ending to a one-day game. Oh, and he's gone for four runs. Oh, that has maybe the decisive stroke. We've now got the crowd pouring onto the ground. Uh, so when play restarts, it's going to be darker still. Four to win off two balls. Wazim to Hooper. Well, that's just the single, and now the final equation, three to win, one ball to go, and if two are scored, the West Indies will win because they have lost fewer wickets. Well, this is the whole five-match series, depending on the final ball. 
two to win effectively. Here is Wazim Akram. Drama at its very highest, but was it a win for the West Indies or was it a win for Pakistan? Well, off the field, match referee Rahman Sabaro ruled that the crowd had impeded the Pakistan fielders. He declared the match was tied, and that meant the series was tied. The most dramatic end to a real cliffhanger of a series. <laughs>